My name is Chad Williams, and today we're going to talk about selecting data. So I have two variables here already, and I did that in a past video, and I'll link it up here so that you can see that video and how we got this. But what we have is a short format data with three different conditions, lecture, flipped, and applied, and those are different teaching styles, and then time of day for each of those lectures, so early in the day or late in the day. Now with the long format, it's the same data, but we've just long formatted it, which means we've stacked it on top of each other. So now we can see that this data point was early in the day and the lecture teaching stuff. So how do we select data? So for example, I have early and late in the day, but what if I'm only interested in early in the day? So we're gonna do that fairly easily this way. So I'm gonna first start by calling it early data then I'm going to use the long data variable and I'm going to look at the first column. So the first column, as we know, is the early and late or the time column. Now, one thing we haven't talked about is equals equals. So what does that mean? Equals like we did here is when we're assigning something to something else. But when we use two equals in a row, we're comparing two different things. So I'm going to use the console down here. Does one equal equal one. Yes, it does. But does one equal equal two? No, it doesn't. So what we're saying is, are these two things the same thing? So what we're going to do is we're going to say early here. So we're going to say in this first column, do each of these data points equal early or not? And what we'll see is, if I just run this like that, we're going to get some truths. So the first five are true. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are true, then 5 are false, and so forth. What we're going to do is we're going to call this an index. So actually, I'm going to say early index here so I can separate it. Usually, I kind of put them together, but that's fine. So here we could say, okay, so we know which ones are the early ones. So what I can do is I can say early data equals long data where we're using the early index. I'm going to leave this empty because we want all columns. So if I do this, what we'll see is first off, our data points are cut in half. And the reason that is is because we've only included the early condition in this time variable. Perfect. So that's pretty simply it, but I'm going to do it again with the second column here. So we're going to say, let's only include lecturer and flip styles of learning. So let's first create our index. So I'll call it lecture flip data or let's start with the index again so what we're going to do is we're going to use long underscore data and now we're going to look at column two because we're just looking to isolate the different teaching styles and that's column two and we're going to say equals double equals i should say lecture or same thing, but for flip. And we're actually going to put brackets around each of these different comparisons to make sure it's isolated. And we're going to do this as our index. Now, to show you that, but what we're going to do is lecture flip data equals long data where we're only taking these indexes. That looks like this here. So lecturer flip data now has 20 observations. And what we see is we have lecturer, both early and late, and flipped, but we no longer have a plot. So that's how we're going to select two different things at once. And finally, we can even do these conditionals across different columns. So if we want to look at just lecturer early in the day, what we can do is we can take this lecture that we have up here, we say and instead of or, and then we can get this here early in the day. So boom. And what we'll see is that it only uses the data that includes both lecture and early. Well, if you run that, and what we get is lecture early, 
and that's the only data we've included here. So you might have seen I've uh, had a couple errors here and there, um, made a mistake or two. Don't worry about it. The first thing that I made a mistake with was I used and instead of or, and then I uh, accidentally overwrote one of my variables. No big deal. So that gives us a brief idea of how to select data in your matrices and how you can maybe isolate different conditions depending on what you're looking for.